Scams are everywhere and I can prove it. But before we do that, hi honey, it's your queen bee. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about scams and things that I have personally been roped into and I am kind of dumb for. But besides that, if you know anyone that sells things like maybe It Works or Pink Zebra or Pamper Chef or Olay or wigs, yes wigs, um, or t-shirts, give them my sympathy because uh, we are all tricked into a pyramid scheme. Everything we do in life is basically a giant pyramid scheme. And before I go all conspiracy theorists on you, let me just explain that I myself have been roped into very many schemes before. Now, I get a lot of DMs and Instagram and everything asking me to sell products for people. And I'm like, okay, and it's based off of commission. Not all commission work is bad, but sometimes you get screwed over. I have been roped into two schemes so far that I remember anyways, uh, mostly because they were whenever I really started my Instagram career. This is no career, honey. Like, this is just me being weird on the internet and I don't get paid enough for it. I don't get paid at all for it. But yes, so what I can basically say, I work for two different companies and both of them sell t-shirts and other miscellaneous things. One of which is Chic New York and it's actually the t-shirt I am wearing. This shirt fit perfectly whenever I first like got it sent to me. And I do think I had to spend a little bit of money. Like I think I had to pay for shipping or something, but I mean, I thought that was a good investment. I thought maybe people will buy this stuff. I literally went around my whole high school asking people to buy shirts from me. I was like, hey, you want this cool shirt? Buy it from me. I wore it once. This is the second time I'm wearing it, or maybe third. It has shrank significantly. Like, it is so small on me. I can't, like, I can't even move my arms that much because the sleeves are literally just so tight. Chic New York. Um, I'm not saying they're exactly a scam. But from what I've been told and from what I've witnessed, they are basically a scam. Um, they got me, they got me good because I went around my whole high school asking people to buy things from me from them. And I mean, I can't remember the commission price, but it basically amounts to like hardly anything. So that sucks. Um, and there's another company I got roped into. It's called Teen Hearts. Now, let me just tell you, that whatever you can get at Teen Hearts, you can get on Romwe and you get on Wish for so much cheaper and better quality. Now, I'm not just trying to drag these two companies just because I haven't like been paid or anything because people don't buy stuff from me. Buy my shirts, by the way. I'm kidding. But no, it is because they're not selling things that people would want to buy. And I didn't realize that whenever I like kind of signed up for it all. So I feel in a way I have been tricked and I have kind of been basically told to scam people, which sucks. That is why I don't advertise it as much as I used to. Like I don't ask everyone, hey, do you wanna buy a shirt? No, because that is very wrong, very weird. Um, I didn't see how wrong it was until I started to like actually see other people getting involved in the same companies as me. And I was like, wow, I don't feel special anymore. Um, so yeah, anyone can basically do it. It's basically one of those get rich quick schemes, if I can even say it fast. I just, I mean, if you can get it to work for you, do it. But for someone like me and like the rest of the population who tries, we're not gonna get very far. I mean, it's really sad to say, but we're not gonna get that far. Um, like, I don't wanna be a pessimist and say, give up on your dreams. If you wanna sell shirts, go ahead, but make sure they're your own thing. Because if you're trying to go through a pyramid and like get to the very top, that's not gonna happen. Unless you're like a broker or a inventor, inventor? An investor, um, that's not gonna happen. And I don't even think you can like invest into these companies because they're just kind of like Instagram based things, I think, I have no idea. I didn't do any research before making this video. This was basically just like me ranting about how I kind of got duped into this stuff because whenever they like DM you, not even email, whenever they DM you on Instagram and they're like, hey, do you want money? It's like, oh, free stuff? Yes, free stuff is never free. Unless you're actually on Influencer, then it is free and they they are awesome. Like I'm not paid to say that at all. I just get free stuff and I'm like, wow, great. So yeah, that is the only thing I actually will support anymore. Like if they want to sponsor me, yes. If they don't want to sponsor me, I still support them. But these two things are not the best. 
And from what I've seen from like It Works and like Pink Zebra and like other things like that, because I have um, some people in my family and my mom used to do the same thing. My grandma used to sell wigs. Like what? Um, yeah, like it's just one of those things where you're only gonna make so much. You're probably only gonna make your monies back on like what you've spent on the products um, from you personally buy them or from like actually getting the stock and then having to like sell it for more if you have to. Like I don't even know how it works, but it's not always the best thing. And the reason I wanted to make this video isn't just to like drag those two things. I don't watch um, big YouTubers, if that makes sense. I only really watch Keemstar and um, Adatozy, I think his name is. Uh, and they, one of them anyways, I think Adatozy made a uh, thing about Jake Paul. And he's selling this, um, <laughs> basically like an online class. Um, if you want an online class that you have to pay for, um, or even that's for free, I think they have a free program, then do Dave Ramsey. Like, don't physically do him, but like, go to his program and do that. Because he has more life experience than a YouTuber does. Uh, and this is not also to like drag Jake Paul or anything or to get his name in my description or thumbnail or anything like that. He's not going to be anywhere near here. And if he is, I am so sorry. Um, because everything is done by me editing and um, everything else. I don't think I'd be that crazy or dumb to put him in my thumbnail. But if that happens, I am so sorry. But yeah, I just don't want people to be spending money on things that don't give you pleasure in life or that are pointless or that's actually making you waste the money. Now I am someone who buys a lot of makeup and a significant amount of clothing so I can like tell you and I also have subscriptions to comics. I work at a comic book store so I get a little bit of a discount but still I buy a lot of comics and I'm not saying that you should be saving your money to like death but just don't spend it on programs or um, pyramid schemes or anything that says free money in it, like, that's terrible. Here's some advice that is for free. You don't even have to like this video, I'll tell it to you, and there's no, like, no strings attached, okay? If you want to get money, get a job. If you want to get free college, sign up for, like, um, programs or anything like that, or, you can do what I did, join the military. Not everyone's gonna be cut out or fit to do the military, like, I'm honestly surprised I'm even in it, to be honest. But yes, you can just get a job, work, you know, uh, go join a branch of the military. Um, not even like the hardcore, like, army. I'm in the National Guard. It's still the army, but I'm just not deployed. Right now, anyways. That doesn't mean I won't get deployed in the future, I have completely, like, gone over the fact that I will be deployed and I'm like just waiting for it but yeah that is just a fact of reality when you do sign up for that stuff there is kind of like a um another part to it like not necessarily like the bad part there is a risk over reward kind of thing so it's just whatever you value I value hard work and I don't really value education but I value helping people and that's kind of what led me to the path I'm on, like being in the military um, and just being how I am, I guess. So free advice, work for your money. If you have a dream, go ahead and do it. But if it's going to hurt someone, like if your dream is like to, and not necessarily someone, but if it's hurting yourself, like either financially or like mentally, then hold off on it until you're ready and then go for it. So what I mean by that, if you're wanting to be a YouTuber, this is not what I want to do. <laughs> this is just a free time thing until I get to college and then I might stop making videos for a little bit. But I don't want to be a YouTuber. It would be nice to get a little bit of money from it, but that's not what I'm living off of. That's not what I'm like here for. <laughs> like I'm just here to help people and to kind of guide people. And that's basically it. So if you're trying to be a YouTuber and you're spending all your money that you really don't have, like if you don't have a job and you're trying to be a YouTuber, good luck because it's not going to happen. Every YouTuber has had to work some kind of actual job in their life and I don't know anyone that hasn't. Like I guess the Pauls, I don't know if they've ever had like a real job before, um, but also you have to understand not everyone is born in Hollywood. Like you're not going to go on Disney and get paid like millions or whatever just to say like three lines in the movie and be like, cash grab. That's not how life works. 
but yeah, nothing in life comes free. Um, I don't know who thinks it should. Molly! She's playing tug of war with me right now. Honestly, if we were all dogs, we'd all be so much happier. Because, I mean, all they do is just squeak squeaky toys and run around. That's literally it. But yeah, just so you guys know, I mean, whatever you guys have planned in life, do it. I know so many people who were going to be a teacher at one point, but then gave it up for, like, being a rap god or a YouTuber. That is stupid. That is beyond dumb. Because neither of them have jobs. Any of the people I'm talking about um, that I personally know don't have jobs. I am, like, the only one in my friend group that has an actual job. Two, mind you. And I can still do this stuff on the side. Like, it's not hard. You just have to find balance and you just have to not overwork yourself. All the videos I post, even though I post one every single day, a lot of them are not edited at all. Because whenever I just make a video, it's mostly just to get a point across or to just say something, and that's it. Like, I don't have to be funny, I don't have to be necessarily loud like I always am, but just to like get the point across and get it out there for someone to find later on, that's enough for me to be happy. So, without making this video too long and too preachy, um, because that's not what I want to do. I just want to tell you guys that whatever you do, I'll always support you. And if you have any questions at all, just comment down below and I will try to help anyone I can. That's literally what I'm here for. Uh, I am like the mom of the friend group of the little subscribers. I'm your mom, I guess. But yeah, with all that being said, make sure to give this video a like if you did. Make sure to comment down below, whatever. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, subscribe if you want to, hit that bell because I post a video every single day. Uh, just the timing is never like, you know, scheduled. Uh, it's just kind of whenever I get to editing. All that being said, hopefully you guys found this video fun, educational, entertaining, and enjoyable. So with all that being said, thanks for stopping by. Love you.